Following the pandemic, supply chain issues caused a slowdown in vehicle production, and that also affected the number of rental cars. The rental car market is now almost back to normal, and you also have a new option if you plan to rent a car this summer. Here's Pat Foran and a consumer alert. Pat. Thanks, Michelle and Nathan. Uber, which is best known for ride sharing, is now in the car rental business as well. The company already offered its Uber rent service in the United States and the UK, and now you can use the Uber app to rent a car in Canada. Michael Hopwood lives and works in Toronto and owns his own car, but he says being downtown, he still uses ride-sharing services like Uber to get around the city. Despite owning a car, he occasionally rents a larger vehicle if he goes on a road trip with friends. I think the, the biggest part for me was, you know, wanting to go on a big, like, uh, friend trip, group trip. I can use a foil drive to pack everything in instead of having to jam it into my, uh, my small car here. Hopwood recently used the Uber app for the first time to rent a vehicle and said it was a seamless experience. I would say it's the fact that I can A, pick the car that I want to, want to rent, but I think it's also the fact that I could do it literally from my couch in the same way that I'd order an Uber. If you have the Uber app on your phone, it already contains the car rental feature. When you open it up, you can rent a car from Budget, Avis or Hertz with the click of a button. Uber says how much the rental will cost will depend on the vehicle, the location, and how busy it is, but it claims pricing will be competitive. People will be able to take a look at different vehicles and find something that works for them at the best price possible. Users decide where they will pick up the car and how long they will rent it for, and they're responsible to get the car and drop it off at the selected location. Like other Uber offerings, the company will make money on service charges. Making transportation options like this available for Canadians gives them more ways to get around and where they need to go. And it's an alternative to personal car ownership, which helps reduce traffic and greenhouse gas emissions overall. And if you rent through Uber, you'll need to show up with a valid driver's license and credit card. And you'll want to make sure you have the proper insurance coverage in case anything happens during your rental. On your side... I'm Pat Foran. If you have a consumer story idea, email us at alert at ctv.ca.